Hello, sports fans, and welcome to, to the Scott Sports 101 NFL Friday Night Football Special. Because we have a game going on right now, and it is the uh, Philadelphia Eagles and the Green Bay Packers and uh and uh and uh yeah opening the season tonight in Brazil in a game in which is forty eight hundred four thousand eight hundred miles at at uh Sao Paulo in Sao Paulo, Brazil at a stadium called the Continental Stadium. Uh, and I'm going to talk about what I think and what, I, what we expect to happen. But first, uh, here is today's uh, uh, Scott Sports 101 uh, Friday night, uh, NFL Friday night football uh, uh, trivia question. And it is an Eagles trivia question. Which Eagles quarterback threw for 464, 464 yards in one game setting a team record? I will have the answer later in the podcast. While opening their season with a so-called uh, home game nearly 4,800 miles from uh, Lincoln Financial Field doesn't mean seem to thrill the Philadelphia Eagles. The Philadelphia Eagles faced the Green Bay Packers on Friday night, that's tonight, at, uh, in uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil, the first NFL game in South America. Eagles uh, cornerback Darius Slay said on his podcast that I do not want to go to Brazil, Brazil though he uh, later apologized. Wide receiver Devontae Smith simply said no comment. And when he was asked about playing in Brazil, part of the uh, uh, reluctance uh, stems from safety concerns. Packers cornerback uh, Eric Stokes said, he was told not to leave uh, the hotel while he was uh, in Brazil. Eagles wide receiver A.J. Brown received a similar message. Uh, there were a whole bunch of don't do's, Brown said. I'm just trying to go down there and win a football game and come back home. Uh, that's the best way I can put it. Uh, but there's also the fact that the Eagles lost an opportunity to play in front of a friendly Philadelphia crowd. The Eagles are on uh, the designated home team, uh, the, are the designated home team in Sao Paulo. The Packers are hoping they learned from their lo last international trip two years ago. Green Bay had won three of its four games that, uh, that season, and Coach uh, Matt uh, LaFleur made it apparent at the time that he wasn't looking forward to playing in London. The Packers fell to the New York Giants at uh, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and went on to lose five straight. So the Packers haven't been uh, griping about uh, this the travel. They're optimistic there won't be a similar hangover effect from this trip because they aren't crossing over as many time zones. At the end of the day, uh, we're going to line up and play football, Stokes said. That's all that really matters. Once uh, those lights come on, everything else goes will go out the window. Those teams ended last season heading into heading in opposite directions. The Packers uh, went to build on the momentum that they established during late season uh, surge last year that enabled them to reach the NFC Divisional Playoffs with the league's youngest team. Uh, Philadelphia started out 10-1 last year, but uh, won only once more the rest of that, uh, the rest of the season and lost to Tampa in the wild card round of the playoffs. This game offers the Eagles a chance to put the collapse behind them. We are not down there to see the city do all this other stuff, Brown said. This is not a vacation. This is a football game. That's it. Philadelphia's late collapse prompted Nick uh, Serrani to fire offensive coordinator Brian Johnson and defensive coordinator Sean uh, uh, Diasi. Philadelphia's new coordinators, Kellen Moore and, offense, and on, on offense, Vic uh, 
Uh, Fangio on defense. Fangio spent last season with, with Miami in the same role. He finished 2022 as a consultant for the Eagles. Moore previously was a uh, offensive coordinator for the Dallas Cowboys in the 2019-2020 season. The 20, for, from 2019 to 2022 and the Los Angeles Chargers in 2023. The Packers have a new defensive coordinator. They fired Joe Barry and replaced him with former Boston College coach Jeff uh, Halfley. Both teams are have new running backs. Saquon Barkley joined the Eagles after spending six years with the New York Giants. The Packers added Josh Jacobs, who had played five seasons with the Raiders. Barkley, in a two-time Pro Bowl selection, was... Uh, 52, uh, 5,211 uh, career yards rushing. Sarani said he had to remove his sunglasses during a recent practice to believe what was, to believe what he was seeing on some of Barkley's runs. I tell him all the time, he's a superhuman, Smith said. Jacobs earned all pro honors in 2022 when he rushed for an NFL, uh, Leading uh, 1,653 yards, and but he ran for just uh, 805 yards while gaining 205 yards uh, per carry last year. Packers uh, kicker uh, Braden uh, uh, Narson will be making his NFL debut just a week after Green Bay claims him off waivers from the uh, Tennessee uh, Titans. Uh, Philadelphia's Jake Elliott set a franchise record by hitting uh, 93.8% of his uh, field goal attempts last season. Elliott makes Elliott ranks second among kickers with 80 or more attempts within a 90.9% field goal rate since 2021. Uh, Jordan Morgan, the Packers' first-round pick from Arizona, was working out at Green Bay's uh, starting right uh, Guard until a shoulder injury kept him from playing in the preseason. Sean uh, uh, Ryan filled that role while Morgan was out. Morgan is healthy again, and Lafleur hasn't named a starting right guard. One possibility is to have Morgan and Ryan share time. Uh, the Packers had a similar rotation system last year with Ryan uh, backed up by John Runyon Jr., who is now with the New York Giants. The Eagles won't have a lineback- have linebacker Devin White because of an ankle injury. Green Bay will be missing running back A.J. Dillon, who was placed on injury reserve last week with a neck issue. And so those are basically the injuries. And that's uh, uh, this is going to be a, a, this. It's a, sort of a good game right now. So we'll call it the second quarter pregame show. And it's uh, uh, it is uh. 19 to 14, uh, Eagles in the second quarter with a minute 59 to go uh, until uh, halftime. Uh, I will. Uh, I'm gonna go in and uh, recap the first quarter for you. It uh, started with a uh, the Packers uh, had the ball and had a, had the punt after six plays, uh, going three and out after six plays, 22 yards, and then it was an interception. The Eagles had an interception. And it was uh, Jalen Hurts' pass deep middle to uh, Devontae Smith, intercepted by McKinney at the Philadelphia 36 to uh, the Philadelphia 19 for 17 yards. And then Green Bay got the ball back, and uh, uh, Neverson hit the 31-yard field goal, and it was good, and it was 3-0 Green Bay. And then, excuse me, the uh, Eagles fumbled it. It was on third and six at the Philly 20. Jalen Hurts fumbles uh, at the Philadelphia 15, touched at Philadelphia 14, recovered by uh, Watt. And and uh, it was, uh, but I think it was, uh, I think Derek, Devin Watt or Derek Watt. Uh, and uh, and uh, I think at the, uh, it was recovered by Derek Watt at the Philadelphia 13. I want to see what that name is. I'm going to find out right now. Uh, uh, Devontae Watt, excuse me. It was Devontae Watt at the Philadelphia 13. Excuse me. 
Uh, and uh, then uh, Philadelphia finally. Uh, oh, and uh, Green Bay had to kick another field goal. It was six nothing. I missed that one. Hold on a minute. And uh, that happened at. Uh, yeah, it was Navis and I kicked it. it was six nothing, uh, and it was good. It was a uh, twenty three yard field goal. It was good, and they uh, it was six nothing. And then Philadelphia scored their first touchdown. Jalen Hurts, it was second and eleven at the Green Bay eighteen. Jalen Hurts passed deep left to Saquon Barkley for the eighteen yard touchdown. Uh, uh, Jordan Elliott's extra point was good, and it was uh, seven six uh, Philadelphia at the end of the first quarter. In the second quarter, uh, Green Bay scored their first touchdown of the game. Uh, as and uh, it was a uh, it was a uh, first and ten at the uh, Philadelphia thirty-three. Reed uh, right end for thirty-three yard touchdown. The extra point uh, was uh, good. The two point conversion was good. Josh Jacobs rushes left tackle attempt fails and and uh, there was a penalty on uh, on uh, uh, Carter for it was a Philadelphia on Philadelphia was. J- I think uh, James Carter for the one yard enforced, and uh, but the two point conversion was good, and it was twelve seven Green Bay, and then Philadelphia uh, scored. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, their uh, second touchdown of the game. Saquon broke the right guard for an eleven yard touchdown. Jordan Elliott's extra point is good, and it was fourteen uh, twelve. Uh, Philadelphia and Green Bay. Uh, tried to score a touchdown. Oh, so they did score a touchdown. I think it was Green Bay that scored it. And uh, it was uh, uh, Jordan Love's pass deep right to uh, Reed for the 70 yard touchdown. The extra point is good. And, uh, and there was a penalty on uh, uh, Green Bay's uh, uh, Walker. Uh, I think it was Ray Walker, a false start for five yards. And that was a penalty on him. Uh, and uh, it was 19 to 4, but the extra point was good. It was 19 to 14. And, uh, and right now on their current drive, so this, and it was a, a first and 10. Jalen Hurts sacked out of bounds on the Green Bay 20 for six yards. And right now that's the current drive. And I'm going to go back to what it is a, it's a uh, second and 16 at the, at the Green Bay. Uh, I think it's the Green Bay, and there's 31 seconds till halftime. Uh, second and 16 at Green Bay is 30. Uh, second is, uh, it's, uh, well, Green Bay has the ball, and so uh, it's uh, 19 to 14, and we'll get back to this in a minute at the Green Bay 25, and it was a penalty on uh, uh. Uh, uh, Godert for, for Philadelphia, false start, five yards and fourth to the Green Bay 20. And right now it's time to reveal the answer uh, to today's uh, Scott Sports 101 trivia, Friday uh, NFL football trivia question. It's an Eagles trivia question, as I mentioned. Which Eagle quarterback threw for 464 64 yards in, in one game, setting a team record? If you said Donovan McNabb, you are correct. McNabb's big day was against the Green Bay Packers on December 2nd, 2004. The Eagles won 47-17 at Lincoln Financial Field. Randall Cunningham set the previous mark at 447 yards in a win against the Redskins in 1989. I'll have another trivia question on my next podcast, which will be for Sunday when we uh, open up week one. And that will be the Browns uh, and NFL early games uh, pregame show. And, uh, and so stay tuned for that. And I'm going to give you my pick for this game tonight. And I am going with uh, the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. So it's my brother-in-law, uh, Eric Hoyle. So my buddy Keith and Lakewood is going with Philadelphia. And so is my, my friend Mohammed Rashid. He's also going with Philadelphia. So... We'll see how that turns out, and uh, expect Philadelphia to really have a big game and Green Bay. And expect bet Green Bay to play, play really tight football. And right now it's nineteen fourteen Green Bay with five seconds left in the second quarter until halftime, and uh, and Philadelphia just kicked a field goal. Jordan Elliott's thirty eight yard field goal is good, 
and it is uh, 19 to 17. And they were not able to get into it. They got set. Hurts spiked the ball to stop the clock for no gain. They were not able to get a touchdown. That's why they kicked the field goal. So, but it, both teams expect them to play tight, even though they're in Brazil. And uh, expect Philadelphia to really have a big game. And they're really trying to put this collapse behind them from last season. Well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101 NFL Friday Night Football uh, special. Uh, second quarter uh, pregame show. I'll be back with the Scott Sports 101 NFL Friday Night Football uh, postgame show for for this game uh, once the game between the Packers and Eagles has concluded. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody. 3-2-1. I'm done.